Hey, what's going on, guys? It's X of the Team Montana again, and today I'm going to show you how to install Java uh, inside Ubuntu 12.04 and 11.10. Uh, this is a very easy guide. Basically, you open up your terminal and you copy and paste the instructions that will be listed in the thread uh, on this guide. This is an easy guide, basically, like I said, copy and paste. So, uh, just read the instructions here, download what you need to download, and then uh, just save it to where we tell you to. Um, so, what we're going to do is go to the first link on here, it says uh, download the latest Oracle JDK 7. Click on here. And when you get to this link, what you're going to do is you're going to download the latest version for Linux. Uh, you're going to get the one you need, which would basically be the um, the either the 86 or the 64 uh, installer. The 86 is a 32-bit Linux, and the 64 is a 64-bit Linux. Uh, you will you want to get the one that ends in tar. Dot G Z. Don't get the RPM version because it won't work. All right, so download the one you need. Once you save it, you're gonna save it to your. Uh, it's gonna be in your download folder. Let me go there real quick. So go to home. Then click on uh, downloads, and you are going to see the download right there. Open up the archive, and what you're going to do is you're going to extract it. Just drag it into your home folder, just like that, okay? So once you do that, you are going to rename it to java-7-oracle, okay? So once you do that, so you rename the um, the JDK, and it it's going to be the file name, like the version. So for example, mine is JDK 1.7.0 space 03. I'm just going to go ahead and rename that to Java hyphen 7 hyphen Oracle, just like that. Okay. So you can go ahead and close that out. You're done there. Now open up Terminal, and uh, let me get Terminal over here real quick. And what we're going to do is I'm going to move this guide to the side here so I can go ahead and work with you guys better here through the terminal. All right, let me go ahead and close all this stuff out here. All right, so one terminal now. Let me go ahead and zoom in on this a little bit. All right, so there's your terminal. So what we're going to do is we're going to copy or you can type it in everything that's in the um, that I posted on the thread step by step so type in CD so you get the, the root of your of your terminal there your root folder okay then go ahead and type in or copy and paste the first one which is the um, it says sudo mkdr dir basically what it's going to do is make a directory uh, for the Java and this is just in case you don't have it already made so go ahead and hit that, and then you're going to type in the next one, which is, uh, hold on, paste, oh, whoops, I have to put password in first. Every time you use a sudo command, that's basically your root, so it's going to ask you for your password every time. So once you do that, um, put next command in. And then, uh, well, this is directly not empty. That's because I already have Java installed. But basically, just continue on. Um, then just type in the, uh, let's see, the rest of the commands here. This is going to add the repository for the Java. So go ahead and let that update. Then we're going to do an APT uh, update. Uh, it's going to update all the re repositories for all the packages on the uh, Ubuntu. So let's go ahead and do that. And then we are going to get the Java update. So go ahead and hit that. Let that load. And then uh, what it's going to ask you here is if you want to install the Java, which you're going to hit yes and you know ask your password if you in case and go ahead and continue. Mine's not doing that because I already have Java installed. Um, so once that's done, once that's downloaded and everything installed there, go ahead and type in sudo space update hyphen Java, and then you can get this pop-up box here. Okay. 
and here you are going to select the, the fourth one here it says uh, it ends in Java hyphen 7 hyphen Oracle that's the one you want to get you don't want to get these open Java's and other stuff you want to get this one so go ahead and hit OK on that and let that uh, do its thing right now I'm getting little errors because I had this installed like I said before so once you get that done you can type in the Java version and it shows you what version you have installed and there you go so as you can see Java is installed ready to go and that's it um, if you want to install uh, a browser of plugins uh, for your Java um, like I have listed on the thread just type in the, the whole code I have uh, kind of pasted on there it's like so this will install the ISO driver and we are going to install the other part of this okay and then after that you're going to select either 32 bit or 64 bit depending on what Linux you have installed in this case I have a 64 bit so I'm going to copy the mkdr uh, command and that's it now you have Java in your your Firefox browser as well and we're done with Java so there you go uh, now you can use the Java for playing games using ADB etc um, hope you enjoyed this video if you need more information or more help go ahead and post on the forums and don't forget to subscribe